Hey guys, we're back. This time we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of the extra stuff that was available for asking for troubles from breaking games. We're going to get right in. There's a bunch of stuff here and look through all of it. First and foremost here, we got the big orange box. And it is what it says. It is a big orange box. It's got the eyes on the side. So when you put it on your shelf, you get this eye looking at you. That's the name of the game on the bottom. And just entertaining face on there it's got a bunch of the characters from the expansions on the back uh, i think they're all companions there might be some riffraff guys mixed in there too but inside it comes with a nice storage solution if i can get it open and in here you can see we have our nice tray here. It's got a cutout for the hex tiles here, uh, various things, and a little bit of artwork around the outside. So that's what I was looking for. Thing that tells you where to put everything. I may throw my stuff in here just to see how well it's going to work. But I have a really nice 3D printed insert, and I'm planning on printing more of them to use with this box. So we have these ship trays. That the ships go in here and then the um, player board kind of fits on top of the lid they even have spots for magnets so you can magnetize them to stack there's two different styles there's a thicker one and a thinner one thicker ones work for the bigger ships the thinner ones work for the normal ships uh, so far the only ship that i have seen that does not fit in there is the murano and that's uh, because the wings are too wide but but I stack these up, they take up a spot in the board. Um, I have trays just like this for all the tokens and everything that's been in there in my original game. So I'm planning on using those myself. But this is a nice, um, nice option to have. And I believe these slots will fit uh, sleep cards as well. So that's what uh, should work out for you. I also have this little styrofoam spacer. I'm not sure where it's supposed to go, but you can use it in there to separate out whatever but uh yeah a lot of space in there it's um a little bit it's the same dimensions as the original box but maybe an inch or two taller so uh shouldn't take up a whole lot more room on your shelf and um definitely will be interesting with the big orange eye staring at you so glad i picked that up though and it's going to uh help storage a lot I'm going to move that back, though, just so we have some more room here for the other things. Uh, most of this stuff were optional buys. Uh, these all were. These were extras for just being a part of the Kickstarter. So we're going to go into those. There's a handful of different things in here. Uh, first off is the bag here. This is a bag to put your connection links in. It's kind of a silky material. It's, uh, it's printed on or ironed on. And then uh, drawstring bag. I actually got an awesome one that I've been using myself, which I have off the side here, that was given to me by a member of BGG a while back. They printed up a bunch. These are homemade or store-bought. I guess he bought a couple. But anyway, he was cool enough to send me one. I think it's awesome. I've been using that. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I'm sure I'm going to put something in there. Maybe not what's supposed to go in there, though that one actually has the link icon on the front. Next up in here, we have the achievement cards. And these were given to anybody, I think, who spent more than $19 in the pledge manager. I did notice there's a printing color kind of goes wonky on those. Never really noticed that before. But on these, they have just different achievements. And I have not actually read the rules. I have not played with these, but they were a special thing to add on. There's the rules right there. Shuffle them together, draw as many as there are players. The rest are not used. It's recommended cards to be placed near the areas where they're obtained. Each card will describe how it's obtained and how it's used. So yeah. Interesting little add-on. have yet to actually play with them, and I plan to. But uh, always nice to have little things like that to add on to your game. 
The next thing we have here is the wormhole token. And this is basically used to store where your um, ships that aren't currently being used in the game will be stored on there as you build ships. You take them off there and add them to your uh, pile. Do not really need a token for that. It was just something neat that they added. And uh, kind of a cool thing. And the last thing in this pack here is the new player ship. And this is actually a player created ship based on boats that were held on the uh, Kickstarter page. You got your normal player board with the ship icon in the middle. And of course you have these ships to go with it. And these had to be modified slightly from the way they were built throughout the boats. Basically, we got to vote on the cockpit area, the hull area here, the engines, and so on. I think there were little jets on the bottom here on the inside that had to be removed because uh, they just weren't working well with the way they manufacture them. But overall, it's pretty much exactly how we had voted on it. And a cool and unique ship where all the other ships in the game have a very uh, reference to different sci-fi and stuff. These were literally designed specifically by the backers for the game. So that's pretty cool. So that's the, the backer pack that was in there. Uh, this one actually did not come from the Kickstarter. This was a promo pack that was available from... I'm uh, not going to remember where it came from. Hopefully I'll say in here. And of course it does not. Well, I'm going to guess Dice Tower since that's Tom. There are some other people in here. I don't know who they are, but. They say on the back. Oh, they say on the back. Tom Basil, Z Garcia. So they're, they were, you know, they had the Dice Tower logo right on them. There you go. So it was a promo pack from the Dice Tower. But these are various uh, promo cards that were used actually to promote the upcoming expansions. So I managed to get myself a set of those as well. Just some neat extra things to have there. The next other thing is the metal coins. And this was kind of funny. They messaged out a bit ago that due to a miscommunication or something with the factory, these were actually shipped individually wrapped and I'm not going to unwrap all of them here on camera but I might do a couple just so you can see there you can see kind of light for what they are they're really nice and thick coins they're considerably lighter maybe I was spoiled by uh we just got project L's middle coins were huge and heavy but definitely cool I like them better than the little cardboard tokens I think they're gonna be cool once you get a stack of those going. And this was a double pack set I got for the eight players or seven players. So there's two of everything here. So you got four of the of the ten. So there's gonna be eight of those. And the fives here, they sound a little bit more meaty. They're smaller, so they don't have that higher pitch noise to them, but I really like them. So the fives. We got eight of those total, so it's going to be 16 with both bags. And then the ones, they just have the planet logo on both sides. Those I really like the way they came out. And you're going to get, I have 19 of those, which I'm not sure that's right. I'm going to have to double check on those. But again, there's two packages, so I'll have extra of those as well. Next, we go on to the ship packs. And there were three of these available. They just have different names. And they each come with new playable ships to the game. First one we have here was the... Scoundrels pack. It has the totally not Millennium Falcon and the totally not the Milano from Guardians of the Galaxy. And along with those two, of course. And 
you get the ship models to go with them. So there's our Falcon model. Pretty good for a non-trademark infringing model. And then the Milano here. And again, this is the one that's too wide on the wingspan to fit in those uh, 3D printed trays that I have. So hopefully the designer said he was going to redo them when he got his stuff delivered. So we'll see. Next up we have the Traveler's Pack. And the Traveler's Pack has the TARDIS. And it's really hard to tell by the image on that one. It's actually the DeLorean or a very similar but legally different facsimile of. And there's our TARDIS. Oddly enough, it should be blue, I think, but everything else in the game is orange. I'm pretty sure people will paint these at some point. Someone will. Then we have our DeLorean. The major difference being the addition of the sixth, fifth and sixth wheel in there. Pretty obvious, though, from the, the car part itself and the exhaust in the back. I like that one. And then finally, we have the Bounty Hunters Pack. The Bounty Hunters pack has the ship from Metroid, I'm not sure what the name of it is, and the Razor's Crest from Mandalorian. Kind of dates when this pack was made, I think. But again, on those, got a Pretty nice detail on there for being what they are. They're just really player pawns, but the sci-fi aspect of them is cool. And then the Razor Crests. I'm not sure if they had legally distinct names for these. I'm sure they did. But yeah, that's a look at all of the optional add-ons that were available during the most recent Kickstarter campaign for the Asking for Troubles expansions. I'm going to be doing videos on the expansions. I'm going to be probably doing a video on my storage solution using utilizing this big box. Maybe I'll show what it was supposed to look like versus what mine looks like uh, with everything in it. Um, definitely looking forward to getting these all into some kind of storage solution. Just for quick reference here, the ships go down in these. I don't have the magnets or anything on these yet. But then you take the player board and the player board you can put it either way on top. I did notice on these new ones that these are just mono colored on the back where the ones that came with the original game, I think, is this one the same way? Yeah, the original ones had like uh, orange and some of them have background like an asteroid field type thing maybe i'm remembering wrong it's been a little while but those are good storage for the different ships and i can't wait to get them all printed up and stored away properly anyway that's going to wrap it up for our look at the extras for asking for trolls from breaking games hope it helps you decide if uh extra character packs and things these completely are just cosmetic to allow you different ships to play with. They actually don't add anything to the game, where at least the uh, achievement cards kind of add something new to the game. The metal coins are just an upgraded, deluxified component. And then the promo cards here are additional new cards to add to one of the expansions. But overall, that's a look at everything, and um, hope it helps you out. As always... Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.